hey guys welcome to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing diy homemade um laundry soap so um i have the the bj's um 250 um loads you know um their brand so this is what i usually get or wherever i can find laundry detergent um affordable cheap or whatsoever so um i also have this one that i'm currently using it's almost done um this is actually the tie in here so um yeah things are getting very expensive now um so I've done, uh, I think, two or three videos of um, do your um, laundry detergent, and a lot of you loved it, but it's been a couple years since I've done so. So today is what we are going to do here. I have two um, different scents that I purchased yesterday from Walmart, and I'm only going to do one at a time because i don't want to do too much and yeah so this is the container that i have here um yeah to mix it in if you don't if you have a bigger container that you can mix it in because this is what i have and then i'm gonna empty it in here i have the lid downstairs in the um basement so you need something really big so you can get into all right, so let me show you my two scents, um, two different, you know, soaps, laundry soaps that I'm going to be doing. But today I'm only doing one because, like I said, I still have some in there. I want it to be finished and then this one I will be making. So first one is this Roma detergent. This was $9.99 at Walmart. So we are going to do this scent today, which is the Purex Crystal Fresh Vibes. So my son has eczema, so I'm very, very aware of what I'm putting into this. So yeah, okay. And I also have the Zolts. I'm gonna be using maybe two and a half or three of the zolts. This make your white so, so clean, okay? And I'm also um, gonna use the laundry booster as well. And I'm gonna use the, the Boax. All right, so that's what we are going to use. So, these are all the ingredients I'm going to be using for just this one um, laundry um, DIY, okay? So the next one over there is almost the same thing, but the scent is the only different one. Everything is the same, but just a different um, scent. That's all it is to it. See what I'm saying? I'll just put everything here so you can see it. And basically, that's it. See that? It's just the same thing, but just um, a different sense. Okay? So, that's all we are going to do. So, like I said, we are going to do one scent and leave the other one for the next one. Okay? So, we're going to agree to this. I thought they would have, like, the flake ones, but they don't. And you guys, I have my mask. <laughs> just in case because you want to do this the kids are not here they went to school and i'm off today so i'm trying to do these while they're not here while they're not here so make sure you use a mask or do this in the basement or outside wherever you think is convenient for you okay so i'm gonna pour this in here and then I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pour this in here and then I'm gonna go greater 
um, my zotes and then yeah and mix everything in but make sure you put your mask on okay So now I'm going to grate this and I will be back. Okay, you guys, so I am back from, you know, grating the, the Zolt soap. I used three of them, you guys. So um, yeah, this is how it look. I thought they would have something like this at Walmart instead of the whole bar soap like that. But again, this grater here, I'm gonna only use it now for just my soap and buy a new one from Dollar Tree because that's where I purchased this from. Don't use the one from the soap, you know, um, to your food. Don't do that. It's only a dollar twenty-five. You can afford it. You understand what I mean? So we are going to mix this now and then put it into my containers. But then again, while I was grating this soap, I was thinking about mixing the old one to the new one so everybody can marinate together so this is which anti diy making your own soup you understand what i mean so all the family will come inside here okay so that's what we're gonna do but like i said put on your mask okay put on your mask so now we are going to mix
Okay, you guys, so this is it right here. So I have, I have this cup and I have this one. So you can take this and just wash your clothes. That's all you need. That is all you need. This is about a tablespoon. That's all you need, okay? If you have larger clothes, maybe put one and a half or whatsoever. But don't use this big one. Don't use this. That's just too much soap, okay? That's just too much soap. So, you can Google it up. It will tell you. You can't use this one, but use this one. But some of us are so stubborn, we will use it anyway, thinking that if we don't have enough soap and the soap doesn't flush or foam, it's not gonna clean the clothes. Nowadays, we have these um, HD machines and everything. You don't need all of that. You only need this, and that's it, okay? So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this video is long, but I wanna do a detailed video of it because somebody gonna come back and ask me as usual, okay? Again, I'm a stress on eczema. My son has eczema, so I'm aware of what I put on here, okay? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye now.